Hey everyone, welcome back to the project. In front of you here, you see an ETR 500 with the upgraded bogies fitted. This side is the original. So, let's just go back now and show you how I got this far. have here the battery for my drill driver that's sitting on there that's certainly more weight than I would ever plan to put on a model train now the next thing I had to do was to take the undercarriage and completely remove the section on which the wheels were mounted. So first we have the bolt with the lower washer which goes in first. So then the upper washer and then the lower nut goes on to there now I'm going to adjust the tightness of this nut to give me a good fit still allowing some free movement there that's where I want it now I'm going to use a friction grip to hold that on by by placing the plastic which is part of the undercarriage and then placing on the upper bolt, uh, upper nut. Now I've got that movement there and I'm going to use this nut tightened down onto that nut to hold that in place. So that's nice and strong and I've got plenty of movement in the bogey there. Okay. the other one there. They're ready mechanically they're ready to go. I've got some track here and I've made these lifters. Um, the idea of these there's two of them there. They span the track and there are supports going Bring across over. the undercarriage of the Lima ETR 500 then when I put that on there you will see that it supports the undercarriage leaving a space at each end there for the bogies to be fitted now I have to do lots of these and that's why I'm making all these popsicle stick jigs and lifters and things it just makes life easy and I am trying to simulate some mechanical process because these things are made on machines if something is askew it's going to throw the whole thing out so look I'm going to put one of the bogies in there one of the bogies in there it's quite a snug fit because it's the same plastic I've just removed them from the lower section right. okay that allows me to determine the position of the new height to set these bogies I use my mini hot glue gun to just put four dabs 
of hot glue in the corners. I picked this up the other day in Hobbycraft, five pounds with two greases. Okay, very pleased with that. So I'll just put the top of this onto there. Okay, that's clipped on. You'll see that this is going through the uh, process. So first, I'll bring in the Italo. And what I want to do is I'll bring the camera down, something like that. And then I will put the ETR 500 on the track, put that nose to nose, and we'll see how that works with regards to You can height. see now already that it's much better. It's, it's almost at the same height, if not very slightly lower. The ETR 400, the Threchy 1000, them together and have a look. That's actually slightly higher than that and that's great because now this fits in with the other high-speed trains. That's where it should be. You can see there how low these are to the rails. all of them. So now you'll see why I had to do what I had to do. That really now looks like an ETR 500. Now if I bring in the original against the modified you'll see that it really is there's a massive difference here there you go the bogies the, the whole thing is just sitting so high on this one if I can get a focus they're where they belong so there we have the new bogies fitted. There's not much turn at all because we're now where they should be behind the fairing there's not much turn but it works on my wide radius curves and also when I do the coupling I'm going to do them very very close and the distance of the coupling is proportional to the amount of turn that I can get in this. Of course if I'm turning wide or on a, on a tighter radius and more curve then I have to extend the length to allow for the overswing. I'm pleased with that. That was a test. That's freed me up now to carry on and do the rest of them. Now the passenger cars these and those are all going to be in the same livery. What I wanted to to do with this project is make sure that the passenger cars work with these and those. So thank you for watching please give me a thumb if you like what I'm doing and guys please leave me a comment so that I know who's watching and who's interested really really helpful if, uh, if I get some comments. So I wish you happy modeling and all the best.